Let me start off with something a little more simple, the lemon blueberry trifle. It still has all those textbook trifle components, cake, cream, and fruit, but is easy enough to prepare, so you might serve it on a Tuesday night. I'll start with the cake layer, which is not a traditional cake, but it's actually a meringue-based cake called a dacquoise. And this one is a coconut dacquoise. So to start the meringue, I have three egg whites in my mixer, and I'll add to that three tablespoons of sugar while I whip it to a stiff peak. Now for the dry ingredients, I have three quarters of a cup of icing sugar that I'll sift with a quarter cup of cake and pastry flour. Traditionally, dacquoise has ground nuts folded into it. But in place of that, I'm using unsweetened coconut, two thirds of a cup, and I'll stir that into the dry ingredients. And then you fold the dry ingredients into the whites. And that's as simple as it is. Just about the easiest cake you'll ever find. Once you no longer see any evidence of dry ingredients, you're ready to take it to the pan. I have a nine by 13 pan. Just spread this out. Here we go. The cake's ready for the oven. I've preheated it to 350 and guess what? It only takes 15 minutes to bake and it will brown on the surface of it. That's expected. And here's what it looks like already cooled. Kind of got that crisp outer layer, but you know that it's soft underneath. So in order to get ready to assemble the trifle, I need my next component, and that's the cream. And it starts with half a package of cream cheese that I've softened up, and now I'll just beat it and then add a quarter cup of sugar. For the lemon, I add about one and a half teaspoons of finely grated lemon zest and three tablespoons of fresh lemon juice and beat that in. Lastly, just a teaspoon of vanilla. Here, I've got all my flavor built in, so it's time for the whipped cream. I've whipped up a cup of whipping cream and now I'll fold this in. What's handy is the lemon juice actually reacts with the whipping cream and it thickens up the cream mixture, making it stable when you assemble your trifles. To get ready to assemble the trifles, first I'll put my lemon cream in a piping bag with a plain tip. So I've got my cream, and for the fresh fruit, I'm using fresh blueberries. Now, let me grab my cake and get that ready to go. Put it on a cutting board and peel away the parchment. Now, before you start slicing your dacquas for your trifle, you have to pick what you're going to put your trifle in, and this is where you can really have a lot of fun. My lemon blueberry trifles are individual trifles, and what you want to be able to do is show off the layers. So a simple juice glass does the trick. I have a cookie cutter that is just slightly smaller than the circumference of the glass itself, and I'm going to use that to cut out my coconut dacquoise discs. Here I've got my pieces lined up and it's time to assemble. I start first with a bit of cream at the bottom of the glass. Then a sprinkle of fresh berries right on top. I'll drop in a coconut layer, and don't be afraid to squish your cake in there. Then I'll pipe cream on top of this. Fresh blueberries, another layer with cream, berries, and then for a finishing touch, a sprinkling of toasted coconut. And then that tells you what flavors to expect within it. Isn't that a lovely and simple way to serve a trifle?